this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continuing the book of Isaiah. Um, I have finished part of chapter 7. The title of chapter 7 is uh, sign, Signs of Emmanuel. Uh, Emmanuel, I just look at it, means God with us. So this is about the sign that seeing God with them. Um, so I'm going to continue to read first. Again, the Lord spoke to our hearts. Ask the Lord your God for a sign, whether in the deepest depths or in the highest heights. But Ahad said, I will not ask, I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear now, your house of David, is it now enough to try the patience of man? Will you try the patience of my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with the child, and will give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. He will eat curds and honey when he knows enough to reject the wrong and choose the right. But there, before the boy knows enough to reject the wrong and choose the right, the land of the two kings you dread will be laid waste. The Lord will bring on you and on your people and on the house of your father a time unlike any since Ephraim broke away from Judah. He will bring the king of Assyria. In that day, the Lord will whistle for flies from the distant streaming of Egypt and for bees from the land of Assyria. They will all come and settle in the steep ravens and in the crevices in the rocks on all the thorn bushes and at all the water holes. In that day the Lord will use a razor hired from beyond the river, the king of Assyria, Assyria to shave your head and the hair of your legs and to take off your beards also. In that day a man will keep alive a young cow and two goats, and because of the abundance of the milk they give, he will have curds to eat, all who remain in the land will eat curds and honey. In that day, in every place where there were a thousand wines, worth a thousand silver shekels, there will be only briars and thorns. Man will go there with bow and arrow, for the land will be covered with briars and thorns. As for all the hills once cultivated by the hill, you will no longer go there for fear of the briars and the thorns. They will become places where cattle are turned loose and where sheep run. Assyria, the Lord's Instrument, Chapter 8 The Lord said to me, Take a large scroll and write on it with an ordinary pen, Mahi Selah Hashbez, and I will call you Uriah, the priest of Zechariah, son of Jericho, a reliable witness for me. Then I went to the prophetess, and she received and gave birth to a son. And the Lord said to me, Name him Mahir Salea Hashbaz, before the boy knows how to say my father or my mother, the wealth of Damascus and plunder of Samaria will be carried off by the king of Assyria. The Lord speak to me again, because this people has rejected the gently flowing water of Shiloh, and rejoice over Rezin, and the son of Remaliah. Therefore the Lord is about to bring against them the mighty flood waters of the river. The king of Assyria, with all his pomp, it will overflow all its channels, run over all its banks, and sweep on into Judah swearing over it, passing through it, and reaching up to the neck. Its outspread wings will cover the breadth of all land, O Emmanuel. Raise the war cry, your nation, and be shattered. Listen for all your distant land. Prepare for the battle and be shattered. Prepare for battle and be shattered. Devise your strategy, but it will be thwarted. Propose your plan but it will not stand, for God is with us. So this is the second part of uh, chapter 7 and the beginning of chapter 8. Uh, so the chapter 8 is saying the um, 
Isaiah's commission, he just uh, predicts what's going to happen uh, because the land, and he said, uh, until the city lies ruined. So that's the, uh, the consequence at the end. And then um, started the sign of Emmanuel, saying that uh, after that, the God will come back again, save them again. So the signs of Emmanuel, uh, it would not take place, it would not happen for the fear of Aram and its Damascus. So this is what the Syrian Lord said. So the, the neighbor country will come to take over. I said it's not going to take place. And then um, again, the Lord spoke to Ahaz. This is what the, uh, uh, and the, uh, Ahaz said, I'm not going to request the God. Uh, and then um, Isaiah said, uh, Here now, your house of David, is it not enough to try the patience of man? We will try the patience of my God also. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Uh, this is the sign. The virgin will uh, uh, have a child and uh, call the Emmanuel and uh, will eat the curds and also honey when he knows enough to reject the wrong food. Uh, to know how to call his father, I think. But before the boy knows enough to reject, reject the wrong choice or the right, the land of two kings you dreaded will be laid waste. So this is before this boy was born and know anything, young age, and the, um, the land will be wasted. And in that day, Lord will whistle for flies and calling the flies and the bees from distant uh, to swamp this country. Um, and they will all come to settle in steep ravens and in the crevices of the rocks and the um, thorn bushes. And also the cultivated land will become thorns and wasted. Um, so this is about, and then Assyria, the Lord's instrument, talk about the, this beginning chapter 8. The Lord said to me, asked me to write in the scroll with the ordinary pen, by the scroll, and uh, saying the um, Mahasala Hashbaz means quick to the plunder, swift to the spoil. This is, I think it's, uh, um, this is a saying, uh, if you do not have God, regardless whether you're doing quick or swift, it's only to the spoil. So this is, uh, the Lord said to me, take a large scroll. And then I went to the prophetess, prophetess, which is a female, and she conceived and gave birth to a son. So this uh, prophetess, prophetess really gave birth of a son. And the Lord said to me, name him Mahasala Hashbaz. So the name is called uh, swift to spoil and quick to plunder. And uh, so this is about, and then the, the Lord spoke to him again in this written what happened. Because the people has rejected the gentle flowing waters of Siloh, but they re are rejoicing reason. So this is just the, the choice of people not please the God. So the, this is what God going to, to do to uh, bring the mighty flood water of the river, the king of Assyria with all his pomp. And we all flow its channels, run over its banks and sweep on into Judah, swirling over it, passing through it and reaching up to the neck. And uh, so this is saying the its outspring wings will cover the breast of your land, O Emmanuel. Uh, God is always there t for destroy, and then uh, people reason and um, reason the war cry. So this is about uh, the first part of chapter eight. I'm going to stop here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.